Amsterdam, the capital of the Netherlands, is one of the most popular tourist destinations in Europe. With its universities, academies and research institutes, along with more than 40 museums, numerous theatres and entertainment venues, Amsterdam is also the country's leading cultural centre. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated attractions and things to do in Amsterdam. And just wait till you see the top three that we're going to be showing in this video. Something you would never even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides. And make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So now, let's cut to the chase. At number 10, visit one of the world's oldest botanical gardens. Amsterdam offers a surprising dose of nature in the very heart of the city. Hortus Botanicus Amsterdam, the city's botanical garden, is one of the world's oldest and should definitely be included in your sightseeing itinerary. Founded in 1638, this much-visited attraction began life as a humble herb garden for doctors and apothecaries. Today, it features rare plants and trees, exotic flowers and a large hothouse encompassing different tropical zones. Highlights of a visit include exploring the lovely old pavilion, a hexagonal structure that dates back to the late 17th century, plus the 1870s orangery. The palm house is also notable, in particular for its architectural style. Plant enthusiasts are also in for a treat, as the gardens are home to a wide variety of rare plant and tree species. Worth mentioning are examples of the Persian ironwood tree, plus numerous tropical species in the historic hothouse. For those wanting to linger longer, there's an on-site cafe. At 9. Rembrandt House Museum Rembrandt, along with his wife Saskia, spent the happiest years of his life in the house on the Jodenbrestraat, now home to the Rembrandt House Museum. It was here, in the Jewish quarter, that he found models for his biblical themes, and where he painted the sites from his many outings along the canals. Rembrandt lived here for 20 years, and the house has been furnished in the 17th century style with numerous etchings and personal objects. English language guided tours are available. Just a two minute walk away is Zuiderkirk, South Church, where three of Rembrandt's children are buried, as well as one of his pupils. Constructed between 1603 and 1611, it was the first Protestant church to be built in Amsterdam after the Reformation and was designed by architect Hendrik de Keyser, who is also buried here. After extensive restoration, it is now a centre for local cultural activities and events. Another Rembrandt-related destination in the city is Rembrandt Square, home to numerous cafes and restaurants, along with a statue of the famous painter. At 8. West Church Located next door to the Anne Frank Museum, Amsterdam's West Church is one of the most popular churches to visit in the city it's certainly one of the most picturesque. Completed in 1630, this attractive Renaissance church is unusual due to its many internal and external Gothic features. Its 85-metre tower, popularly known as Langer Jan, is the highest in the city. On the tip of its spire is a large replica of the Emperor's crown, placed there in memory of Emperor Maximilian of Austria. Inside the tower, a carillon proclaims the hours. Other highlights include a fine organ dating from 1622, along with an interesting marble column placed here in 1906 in memory of Rembrandt. The great artist was originally buried outside the church, but was later reinterred inside. A gift shop is located on site. No, that's in the church, not the actual grave. At 7, tour the Royal Palace of Amsterdam. Formerly the Town Hall, the Royal Palace of Amsterdam serves as the King's residence when he's in the city. Its construction was a monumental task when started in 1648 and required the sinking of 13,659 piles to support the mammoth structure. Based upon the architecture of ancient Rome, the exterior is strictly classical, while the interior is magnificently furnished, its apartments decorated with a wealth of reliefs, ornamentation, marble sculptures and friezes. Check out the spectacular ceiling paintings by Ferdinand Boll and Govert Flink, pupils of Rembrandt. Other highlights include one of the finest furniture collections in the world and the city treasurer's room with its marble fireplace and ceiling paintings by Cornelis Holstein. You'll also see the Hall of the Aldermen, also containing paintings by Boll and Flink. The largest and most important room is the Council Hall, sumptuously decorated and one of the most beautiful staterooms in Europe. 
English language guided tours are available and useful audio guides are included with admission. At 6, people watch at Dam Square. Dam Square is one of the most tourist-packed areas of Amsterdam and for good reason. Its most prominent feature is the 17th century royal palace, former home of the Dutch royal family and present-day venue for royal functions. Dam Square is also home to top tourist attractions such as the New Church, Madame Tussauds Wax Museum and the National Memorial Statue, which is dedicated to Dutch soldiers who lost their lives in World War II. This huge public square is, naturally, lined with numerous cafes, restaurants and shops and is usually full of vendors selling food and souvenirs. Tourists will also find a Ferris wheel, perfect for getting a different perspective, as well as plenty of entertainment, ranging from street performers and buskers to first-rate music festivals. And now at 5, family fun and flowers at Vondelpark. The largest and most visited park in Amsterdam, Vondelpark occupies 120 acres and contains no end of fun things to do. In addition to expanses of green space dotted by peaceful ponds and traversed by ample paths, the park is home to a lovely rose garden featuring more than 70 different types of the flower. It also has a variety of sculptures and statues, playgrounds and other recreational facilities, including rollerblade rental and the Vondelpark Open Air Theatre, which serves as a venue for musical and stage productions from May through September. If you haven't packed a picnic, don't worry. The park is also full of cafes where you can enjoy a snack or a full meal. Next up at 4, explore the Jordaan neighbourhood. Jordaan is the most popular of Amsterdam's neighbourhoods and is well known for its mix of residential areas with garden courtyards, lively markets and upscale boutiques and eateries. The area is also home to plenty of fun things to do, from taking a pleasant stroll along the many picturesque streets to spending time visiting the many top-rated tourist attractions located here. Although best known as the location of Anne Frank House, the area is also home to lesser-known treasures like the Woonboots Museum, a floating museum dedicated to houseboats, and the interesting, yes honestly, Amsterdam Cheese Museum. Tasty! On Saturday mornings, Lindengracht turns into a huge open-air market where you can find local crafts, produce, flowers and goodies perfect for filling a picnic basket. Monday mornings, it is Westerstraat that fills with 200 vendors' stalls, this time selling a wide range of goods in a flea market-style bazaar. Jordan's restaurants and cafes have become the trendy place to sit and people watch while enjoying traditional Dutch folk music, as one does. At 3, experience great art at the Van Gogh Museum. A must-visit for art fans and historians, the spectacular Van Gogh Museum has been one of Amsterdam's top attractions since it opened in 1972. Dedicated to the often troubled life and extraordinary artistry of one of the country's most revered painters, this modern Gerrit Rietveld design structure is home to the world's largest collection of Van Gogh paintings and artefacts, much of it donated by his brother, Theo, and other family members. Boasting an impressive 200 paintings, 500 etchings and drawings, as well as 700 letters written to and by friends and family, the collection is split into key periods of the artist's life. His realistic works, including the famous The Potato Eaters, and his Impressionist period from 1887 to 1890, which saw the creation of perhaps his best-known work, Vase with Sunflowers. A highlight of a visit is the amazing Meet Vincent van Gogh experience, a fascinating multimedia presentation of the painter's life and times through vivid digital reproductions of his work. Also of interest are works by van Gogh's contemporaries, including such leading artists as Paul Gauguin and Henri de Toulouse-Lautrec. If time allows, be sure to check the availability of the museum's educational workshops in such disciplines as painting and photography. A cafe, shop and library are also located on site. And at number 2, visit Anne Frank House. On the Prinsengracht stands Anne Frank House. Dedicated to the all-too-short life of one of the world's best-known Holocaust victims, this is the actual home in which Anne's family hid for much of World War II. The Franks were Jewish refugees from the German city of Frankfurt and it was here that Anne wrote the diary that became an international bestseller after the war. It was published just a few years after her death at age 15, just two months before the war ended. 
much of the home has been kept as it was during Anne's time, and it serves as a poignant monument to a tragic period in history. A word of caution, tickets do sell out up to two months or more in advance, so be sure to plan ahead and purchase your tickets ahead of time online. And finally, at number one, see the art collections at the Rijks Museum. One of Amsterdam's most popular attractions and certainly its most important art repository, the Rijks Museum, was founded in 1798 to house the country's huge collection of rare art and antiquities. The museum's impressive collection includes a million cultural artifacts dating from the 13th century to the modern day, among them more than 8,000 important paintings spread across 250 rooms of this sprawling building. In addition to its paintings, the Rijks Museum boasts a well-stocked library of more than 35,000 books and manuscripts, as well as numerous fascinating displays dealing with the development of art and culture in the Netherlands. Of special note are its collections of traditional handicrafts, medieval sculpture and modern art styles. A variety of themed English language guided tours are available. For a special experience, try the fun Art History Canal Cruise, taking in many of the sites represented in the Rijks Museum's collections, or book a table at the museum's Michelin-starred restaurant. English language guided tours are available. To avoid lineups, nearly 2.5 million people visit each year. Book your tickets in advance online. And there you have the top 10 rated attractions and things to do in Amsterdam. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. So, see you next time.